A 24-year-old woman was raped. But she was out at 3 a.m. with a strange man, now. A 19-year-old woman was raped at 8 p.m. near her workplace. But she was wearing such nikke nikke shorts, na. A 26-year-old mother was raped by an auto driver. But why did she ride in an auto alone at night? A 9-month-old baby was raped by her neighbour. She's a girl. You see, Galti to hamesha ladki ki hi hoti hai. At least this is what the society says. This, my friend, is what rape culture is. What do we mean by rape culture? The term was originally coined in the 1970s. It was first published in Rape, the first source book for women by the New York Radical Feminist Collective in 1974. Let's dive into the concept to understand how do we build rape culture. Number one, blame the survivor. Rape culture is a culture where sexual violence is a normal thing. And the wrong thing is a good example of it. But it's not just about the sexual violence itself. It's the cultural norms and institutions that protect rapists, shame victims, and demand that women make unreasonable sacrifices to avoid sexual assault. Ladko ko dekhi hasun, kapre thik se pehna, raat mein bahar mat jao. Wo kehte hai na, taali ek haath se nahi bachti. Dono ne kya hai, tabhi to rape hua hai. It pressures women to sacrifice their freedoms and opportunities in order to stay safe. Number two, your vagina is where your honor lies. Our cultural and social conditioning has made sure that the idea of a woman, her family or community's honor is directly associated with her vagina. With typical Indian expressions like Laj or Sharam to Aurat ka gehna hote hain, we are constantly exposed to the idea that dignity of a woman resides in her vagina. Not to mention the hyper-masculine notions of pride. When you threaten a man, you tell him you'll break his face. When you threaten a woman, you tell her you'll tear up her vagina. Number three, normalizing it in our daily lives. Think of the last gali you used or heard. Does it refer to a woman's sexual part? Does it refer to raping a woman? You know the answer. Also, since when raping a woman is funny, this dialogue from three idiots made everyone laugh. He's college me. Baladkar pe baladkar kiye. <laughs> but why? Why do we laugh at the idea of rape in this dialogue? Hame to aschariya hota hai ki ek insaan apne jivan kal me itni baladkar kaise kar sakta hai. This normalization of rape culture persists even in how we talk about violence against women. Look at these news reports. 27-year-old woman locked down, assaulted, raped by live-in partner. Drunk woman left on road after party, raped by two near Bhan Krota. Woman locked up in Kochi flat, raped and assaulted repeatedly. What is common about them? They all talk about the survivor in a passive tone. Sentences like, she was raped or uska balatkar hua makes us focus only on the survivor. Then the question of who committed the rape becomes irrelevant. Our campaign Redraw Misogyny talks about the importance of how violence against women gets reported in the media. Pop culture makes it normal for us. Did you know the famous song Chene Ke Khet Me is a song describes how a young woman was raped? <laughs> Seven years of rape glorifying song was trending on Twitter in 2020 when so many people finally realized what's wrong with the lyrics. So let's ask ourselves have we played any role in building rape culture? If the answer is yes, then let's work towards dismantling it. <laughs>